Um, for me specifically, because I wasn't the only one that was going through it. Um, we had a lot of guys uh, banged up, and what that meant was that there were, we were going to need some guys to step up, and that's uh, that's offensive, defensively, and even special teams. You saw a lot of guys uh, getting put in there and uh, having to step up, and um, that's what makes this thing that much better. And that, that's what makes this game that much sweeter. When you can get all three phases to come together and win uh, the biggest game of your year um, up to this point, um, man, it's a, it's a sweet feeling, man. And uh, being in that locker room, sharing that moment with that guy, I'll remember forever for sure. Do you like what the uh, Cincinnati mayor had to say? I said enough about the Cincinnati mayor. It was it was Cincinnati was a better city when Jerry Springer was a mayor. <laughs> Travis, seriously, was there a point in practice this week from Pat that you knew he was going to not only play but play well tonight? I mean, there was no doubt in my mind he was he wasn't going to be out there. I knew for a fact he was going to give this city and this organization all the all the guys that he he uh, he goes to work with every single day everything that he has. Um, and sure enough, I mean, even on that last play, you saw it all come together, man. And I, uh, you guys know how much I love that guy, but it's moments like that that just make it that much more special to be his teammate um, and uh, that much more special to be a part of uh, the Kansas City Chiefs organization. Yeah, Travis, special moments with him. Does this give you such a different kind of emotional way to knowing what he had to do and what, even what you were going through, something you guys heard? Right now, um, it's, a, it's an amazing feeling. I, I don't even want to kind of look <clears> – <throat> I don't even want to – look at it from that perspective until this thing's all over with but uh for right from right now i know that uh i know that we got a warrior back there a quarterback going into the to the biggest game of the season and um and you know what i know one five is going to give us a chance to win it travis, 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 online. travis online people are calling this the the kelsey bow coming up talk about the feeling of being able to Man. with your brother Whew. um haven't talked to him yet but uh cool cool scenario to be in you know um my mom can't lose. <laughs> I'll just leave it at that. It's going to be an amazing feeling playing against him. And, uh, you know, obviously I respect everybody over there in the Eagles organization. And um, you won't see me talking too much trash because of how much respect and how much uh, I, love, uh, I love my brother. But um, it's, just, it's definitely going to, be a, it's going to be an emotional game. That's for sure. Travis, when you get your third Super Bowl, Talk about, you know, the that came in Carlos Dunlap and just the these that are going to be able to experience the Super Bowl the first time Um, I feel like it's uh, everybody in that locker room has the same mentality. This was awesome, but um, you know, winning the Super Bowl is obviously the, the biggest goal, and we've been to a Super Bowl. The the leaders, the coaches that have been here, we've been to a Super Bowl and haven't won it, and that was the last taste that I got of it. So, um, to speak to the free agents. And uh, the new, the upcoming guys, the guys that we got in the draft, obviously they've all helped us to get to this point, and we're going to need them even more in the Super Bowl. But uh, I can't thank them enough for choosing Kansas City, that's for sure. Travis, when the the, the top one allows you, you've had the high and the lows. How do you share that with them so when you go in a couple of weeks, they don't experience the lows and the highs? Well, I mean, <clears throat> you go into it with the right mindset, and right now we got to get healthy. And from there, we'll figure out how we're going to attack the Eagles and how we're going to defend the Eagles. And, um, you know, it's uh, these two weeks tend to be some of the longest days that I've ever experienced. So um, we, we definitely have a lot of time to be able to uh, get healthy, get the right mindset, and uh, get everybody on the same page for sure. In that fourth quarter, you had different guys out there because of the injuries. You know, Marcus Kemp made a play. You had a lot of rookies out there on the field. What does that say about your team that you can go so far into that depth and still come away with a great performance in the fourth quarter and win this game? I don't know if you've ever heard of a guy named Brett Veach, but uh, he's brought in some amazing talent, and he's put this team together and um, we're the best team in the AFC because of what he's been able to do on top of what these coaches have been able to do in terms of teaching the players, teaching these young guys uh, how to make these plays. Um, there's just so much, uh, so much love for, for the guys that take it day by day um, that don't necessarily get the praise, that don't get the opportunities in a game every single week to be able to make those plays, if you, if you understand what I'm saying. A guy like Marcus Kemp stepping up. Um, a, even a guy like Harrison Bucker, who for whatever reason everybody was on him for sh maybe struggling a little bit. 
and he's just absolutely been perfect in these playoffs and, and, and just put all of that aside. Guy like Sky Moore, who had, who had a few struggles early on this season, steps up to the plate, makes, makes arguably the biggest play in the game on that punt return, putting us in a position to be able to get close enough to get a field goal. Um, those guys that, uh, that work their tail off and don't always get that opportunity in the game, for them to step up, man, it's the best feeling in the world. All right. What's that? Man, I was, uh, I was going through it for sure. I wasn't sure if I was going to be able to do it, but we have the best training staff uh, in the entire NFL. Uh, my guy David Glover, Julie, Ev, Tiff, um, Ricky B, everybody in this building has been unbelievable getting me right, and I can't leave out my guy Alex Gazel for, for getting me right outside of the facility. And um, I'm just very thankful and very appreciative, and, man, it's, uh, I don't know where I would have been mentally if, uh, if I wasn't able to play in this game. Thank you. Have a good one, guys. High tide. See you in Arizona. The heights, baby. We're everywhere. They can. Anybody confirm his back? Back spaces. Yeah, I think so. No, I should. Frank is still coming. Yeah. Yes. Oh, yes. 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 Okay. Yes. 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 Yes.